Hello there people, this is Bruce B. Cool or Nintembrus here, and we have finally got ourselves a match on Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Jewels. Um, so it took a little while to get around to it in all honesty, again just timings, things like that, um, as well as obviously getting all the cards and whatnot. Um, but finally got it, uh, slowly porting some, uh, oh, 60 cards. I'm not sure if this is going to show off this deck to the best of its ability, but it's my port of Blue Reshef from the uh, the current meta. Um, this hand, it, it's something. It's not a lot of support, that's for certain. Um, we'll see what we can get from it though. Nightmare Steel Cage. Hmm. Could this possibly be a burn deck? I do not know. Oh, he can activate something. Skull Invitation. Okay. Slime a card is sent. What? Select one random card from your opponent's hand. Call the type of If you call it, right and flip. What? Inflict 300 damage to its owner for each card sent. So. Okay. Right. Not so certain about this. <laughs> it, it's kind of scary to look at. So basically, I can barely use anything without. Um, losing 600 life points. Um, well, we'll get the only support card uh, that we've drawn so far. Advanced Ritual Art, that's always nice to have. Um, I can't attack. Omnis Fortune Telling. If you call it right, inflict 700 points of damage to your opponent's life points, you can use this effect only once per turn. Okay, in phase. I believe I'll be able to do stuff next turn. Um, but we'll see though, we'll see. He's bound to call Monster. You know, with this sort of deck. Monster card? Yep, of course. I mean, this sort of deck, you, uh, or that sort of card, you have to call Monster, really, because it's a 50-50 chance when you get it right. Unless you're up against an old trap deck or something along those lines. Oh, that is nasty. That is super nasty. Oh, and there goes my wing beat giant dragon as well. There goes all my support cards, practically. Oh, that is horrible, guys. Absolutely horrible. Right, we'll see what I draw into. Silver's Cry. Um, that's not a bad card to have. Secret Bower. Oh, the burning people. The burning. This is... Hmm. I'm not going to lie. I could be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, all support, so I don't have Blue Eyes White Dragon in there yet. Um, this is basically the perfect hand for him. Um, I mean, 60 cards and pulling that lot is crazy. Um, hmm. Okay, I'll just summon that for now. The thing is, I don't think he's going to have anything to walk over me, so I'll just leave it like that for now. See what we get going. At least he's used up practically all of his cards. If he gets another secret barrel or needle worm, then fair play to him. But we'll see. See what we can do. Go on, hit a spell. Nope, that's still a monster. God damn it! <laughs> oh dear. Shame I haven't bumped into my decrees here, but uh, no bother, no bother. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, if the, if that's a secret barrel, I'm dead. Oh no, just desserts. One thousand. Hold on, one, two, three, four, there. No, I can't count. That's nine cards actually. Um. Right. This is not good, people. It's not good one bit. Okay, I'm gonna have to summon out something and just go attack, attack. Thing is, thinking here, I can only play one card. Uh, right. I'm gonna have to pop something. But then I've got not much to pop with. Okay, you know what? Screw it, we'll just go for the all out attacks. Um, battle phase. I basically can't play anything now. Um, but if he's got nothing to defend himself with, then 
this game is mine, which is nice. Oh yeah, he takes a 600 damage there as well. Uh, activate that, or not so much activate, you guys know what I mean. And attack with that. 1600, is there anything I can pop which would make him lose stuff? Okay. I don't really want to lose my Diamond Dire Wolf. Okay, you know what? We'll do it. This is proper big thinking here, guys. And, ah, but then I'm going to lose out on my... Basically, if he causes any burn damage to me, I'm dead. <laughs> Next turn, essentially. Um, I'm pretty sure these don't count as cards on the field, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, we'll just pop that. Oh, no, that does count as a card. In that case, I am now dead. Change another card. Um... Uh, Oh, did I? Oh, ugh. okay. Yeah, that sucks. I'm dead, basically. <laughs> I honestly thought with the XYZ materials they didn't count as cards or whatever, but it don't matter. It don't matter. Okay, we'll see what I've got in the side deck here. Um, I know I've got a couple of wing beats of giant dragon. Yo, that was a good game. Holy shit, let's do it again. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay, we'll see what we can do for him. Um, we'll keep the pot, we won't have one for one, and it will be... I think we could get rid of Dark Hole. So I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but you're saying how good a game that was. I think he's just uh, said there if I've got anything inside deck to Mine is a very strategized deck. Very strategized deck. <laughs> Ooh. That trade in. Oh, and Manju. Okay. It's not a single flaw in this deck. Let's see what we can get off from this. Wait, wait. Oh, Silver's Cry. That is a nice little hit to get. So basically, if I can jump over him after the first turn, then this will be great, essentially. Uh, no, I definitely don't want to activate that yet. Good old Silver's Cry. Okay. Let's see... Oh, I'm really annoyed with that first... Oh, what, with what he can do. I mean, it's an interesting deck type, obviously. But, let's see. Let's see. I was really hoping for that Royal Decree. Really was. In a Tama? Really? Oh, okay. Okay, now hopefully he's gonna show face up what he's got already. Oh, another trade in. Doppelganger, when you take damage from the effects of almost your opponent controls. What the oh, and Curse of Darkness. Oh, considering I'm all spells, this could be quite bad, and I should have changed, uh, chained the Edge Curse of Darkness, actually. Okay, that's pretty bad. Um, there's me just thinking too much, essentially. Um, what's the other one? Doppelganger. You take damage from your foot to a monster. Okay, right, that's going to be easy then. So we'll summon this, and we'll just battle phase it up. This can't be anything big, I'm hoping, anyway. Nope, giant germ. That's okay. At least these bits are little bits of damage, essentially. And then we'll attack another one of these. And then we'll surprise him. We'll see if he's got a, a reply or anything like that. So what I activate. Come on, 
You know you want to do it. <laughs> you heard that reply there. <laughs> oh, I love this guy's replies. You know, fair play to him. Okay, so basically we're both knocked down to 5,000 life points now. Okay, and if I really need to, I can Diamond Dire Wolf the Curse of Darkness. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Could even go into... Oh, Structure Inflict 100 la, 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 for each card in your opponent's hand. Okay, that's okay for me, because that's... Well, yeah, we both take the same amount of damage there. And Cannon Soldier, is he really going to crash? Oh, Creature Swap. Okay, he can have Manju, it's fine. I don't think he realised that. Unless he thought maybe this is a uh, good game, basically. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hello, you would. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair play to the guy. Fair play indeed. Not a bad hand. Couldn't do my full effects, but I needed to. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? We won't make any crazy plays. We'll just go straight for it. Absolutely love his replies and his reactions there. I'm Zora. Good show. Good show. Right. Now, I'm pretty sure I don't need to do anything else in the side deck. It was just unlucky I didn't pull any of the uh, wing beats of Giant Dragon or anything like that, essentially. But now that he's first to go, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. You know what? I'm sorry. I've, I can't remember if I've played him before if I've, or if I've spoken to him on my uh, on my channel before with, in reply to my videos. Really not too certain. Or whether he's in even my friends list. Wow. I'm always drawing into them blue eyes, aren't I? White Stone Legend is becoming a bit redundant here. Okay, well I've got to do trading. I just have to, even if it involves burn damage. This deck is usually a tag team deck, but it works as single player too. I just have to have the right combos. Fate to Abacus, each time one monster is sent from the field to the graveyard, flip 100 points of damage per card to the respective card owner's life points. Okay, well, trading won't be from the field, so that's quite nice. Oh, pardon me. Alright, what do we get from this? Oh, mind control. This could be quite nice. Go on, please be Needleworm. Please be Needleworm. It's the Needleworm! <laughs> ah, this is good news for me. Um, just desserts, that's fine. Should have waited till I obviously uh, summoned first, but it's completely fine with me. Shit, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> it's gonna hurt indeed, buddy. <laughs> oh, and it's gonna be nasty. And then we'll do another little direct attack as well. Okay, we'll see if he's got any hand traps. Oh no, I can't attack with that. That's completely fine. I'd rather have my 2,000 damage. Okay. End phase. See what he does. See what he does. I am quite frustrated. I'm just drawing into my blue eyes there. That's quite a waste of a hand, but it doesn't usually happen. Oh, there's that Hinatama. So I take 500, he takes 300. In a way, it's a very, very interesting idea he's got. Um, he needs to skim down the cards though. Oh, now that is nasty. That is very nasty. <clears throat> so I've got to find a way now. If I can get Reshef or even Manju, then that would just be delicious for me. Oh, and the Fatal Abacus for him. That hurt. That hurt. <laughs> He's damaging himself. What's going on? <laughs> Manju. Perfect. I just had an idea too. Yeah. Okay, right. We'll do this. 
Now, this is, for, again, it's from the fields. Each time a card is sent to the graveyard. Okay, so it's going to be 600 damage I take here. Well, 900 actually. Fresh on the dark beam. Really? Okay. So 900 damage. Okay, I think this is going to be GG unless he draws something really decent. And in fact, I'm going to take 500 damage here as well, or 800 even. Okay, and if I can get over this, it's another needleworm. That is going to be a pain. Okay, I've blown out all the rest chefs. That's completely fine. As he says, it's it's basically down to this one draw now. Um, end phase. If you get secret barrel, that won't change anything. In fact, there's not a lot he can do. God damn it. Yep. You fucking won. Thought as much, yeah. thought as much. GG, buddy, yeah. GG. Torrential tribute. Oh, apparently something he can activate. I'll just show that, just for kicks and giggles. And Reshef the Dark Being is going to finish it. I'm okay. Sora. Well done indeed. That was a. An interesting one. I didn't expect such heat from. I didn't expect such heat from a 60 card deck at all. Whoo wee! Well, that wasn't the type of deck that uh, I wanted to go up against and show off this thing. But as you guys see, you know, it's got certain side deck options. Um, this is my true improvement from what I was playing in the the actual meta like months ago with Blue Rush F on uh, on Dev Pro. But yeah, I'm really liking this deck. It runs really consistently. It's a real big shame there that I drew into three blue eyes, <laughs> but you know what? These things happen, and I'm still able to overcome the uh, the odds there. So, as always, guys, pop your comments and thoughts in the section below. Let me know what you think of it all. And uh, oh, oh, pardon me, I do apologise. Until next time, you guys take care, and I will see you again soon. Oh my God, what is up with this burping? I haven't eaten. I better go get my breakfast. Take it easy, guys.